Today we're looking at building the big boy dive flag. Some of the commercial dive flags are quite small. As you can see here, we've got 20 meters of rope on this 250 mil float. First, let's have a look at the counterweight that will sit under the float. I'm using 20 millimeter electrical conduit. Cut a length of conduit 250 millimeters long. With a file, deburr the cut edges on both sides. Next, grab a conduit joiner and glue it onto the PVC pipe you've just cut. For now, just place the end cap into the joiner. Find yourself some sinkers that fit neatly inside the PVC. I'm using size 4. Place the sinker in the open end of the PVC pipe and hammer it into place. You'll need a suitable shaft to be able to push the sinker all the way down to the bottom. You'll be able to feel when the sinker hits the bottom of the PVC pipe. Continue putting sinkers in until the pipe is full to the top. Glue another joiner to the other end of the PVC pipe. Remove the cap and place as many sinkers as you can fit inside the joiner. Then glue the cap back on. Now let's look at the buoy rope. Prepare the rope for splicing. Pull the three strands apart and sear the ends with a hot knife. Thread the rope inside the buoy and pull it back around the outside to the point where it enters the buoy. Leave enough room to splice the rope back into itself. Starting with the end middle strand, thread it back through the body of the rope. Then take the strand on the left of that and thread it over the top of the first strand. Take the right strand and thread it up from underneath into the rope. To tell if you've done it correctly, there should be one strand coming out of each section of the rope at the same level. Continue splicing the rope until there is no more rope left to splice. Cut the other end of the rope long enough for you to splice an eye loop. Bend the eye loop around and start the splicing process again, starting with the middle strand. When you finish splicing, it should look like this. I've used 12mm diameter rope. Now let's have a look at the centre structure. Measure the length of the inside hole. We're going to add 20mm a side to this measurement so that our PVC pipe fits inside the hole and our joiners fit neatly at the entrance of each side of the hole. Glue one joiner to the end of the PVC pipe. Then insert the PVC pipe inside the float. Ideally this will be a nice snug fit. Now you can glue the counterweight to the other end of the PVC pipe. Now let's have a look at the mast base. 
Measure out some PVC conduit 250mm long. Cut it and file both ends off. Glue this to the PVC connector at the top of the float. Now let's have a look at the flag. You can download a pattern from my website or create one yourself. Here we're cutting the blue section of the flag. It is one piece of material that has been folded over on itself. When the shape has been cut out, cut along the back to create two individual pieces. Now cut out one large rectangle of white material. Assemble the flag and then sew the two blue parts to the white. Sew a hem along the blue section of the flag. Leave the white section open, but sew a hem to itself. Invert the flag. Sew the pockets, leaving room for the mast and the cable ties. Sew the flag down around the outside, but leave the white section open so that you can get the mast in and the cable ties. In Victoria, the flag has to be a minimum of 300 by 200 millimetres. Check the laws in your area to make sure the flag is legal. This flag is 250 millimetres high by 370 millimetres wide, with a 40 millimetre gutter for the mast and 30 millimetres for the cable ties. Now let's look at the flagpole. Mark out a section of PVC conduit 230 millimetres long. Cut it and file both ends off. Glue a connector to the PVC pipe. Use the deep end of the connector to glue to the PVC end. Glue an end cap onto the connector. Glue the shallow end of the connector to the bottom end of the PVC pipe. Lay the cable ties in the middle of the channels in the flag. This is 225mm centres. Mark down 12.5mm on the PVC joiner. Then measure down 225mm, being the centre of the cable ties. These cable ties are 7.5mm thick, so I'm going to use an 8.5mm drill. Start off with a smaller drill to drill through the joiner and the PVC pipe. Try to keep the drill straight as it's going through the other side of the PVC pipe. Then use a larger drill to open up the hole. File off any burrs. Do the same process on the other end of the flag pile. Thread a cable tie through the top end of the flag pole. Pull it down tight over the connector. Insert the flag pole into the flag and thread the cable tie through the pocket in the flag. Now thread the cable tie through the bottom section of the flag pole. Pull it up tight against the flag pole. Thread the cable tie through the pocket in the flag. We're going to be using a retractable cable tie to connect the flag pole to the buoy. This cable tie is 4.5mm thick. I'm going to use a 6mm drill. With the flag connected to the buoy, drill through the flag and the mast. Now when you want to use it, all you have to do is put the removable cable tie through and to pack it up, just take the cable tie out. For full instructions, please visit my website.